pace is something that, that we talk about a lot at UConn, and there's you know a pace that we expect, and, and we needed to get back to that because we thought that in our last game against Marquette that we didn't push the pace uh, the way that we needed to, and so tonight was an opportunity to do that. And and also, I mean, I think. We're a good defensive team, and that puts pressure on the other team. But also, when you're a good offensive team, that also puts pressure. So if you keep the pace up on the offensive end, and then you keep them from scoring, and it just makes it very difficult on the other team. And I thought our aggressiveness uh, was outstanding. We also need to give props to um, CD for 16 and 0, <laughs> undefeated. <laughs> undefeated right there. 16 and 0 now, they're replacing right. Hyper up. <laughs> this season has been unlike any other. It's almost like it's worse than the COVID season because during COVID you expected, like every time you took a test, you expected like someone could be out or we could be shut down. This is just, you know, every other day you know, we get one person back and then we lose one. Then, you know, coach isn't feeling well. So it's just been, you know, it, 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 it makes you tougher. It makes you stronger as a group. And um, you just have to, you know, you, you don't have a choice. So when you don't have a choice, you have to figure it out. And I think that's what we've been doing. We've been figuring it out at practice. We've been figuring it out for games. And, and it doesn't really matter. When, when they say next man up or next person up or whatever, I mean, that's really what we have to do. Um, I can't say enough about our players. It, it's funny, when kids are in high school, they think they, they want to go somewhere where they want to play 40 minutes a game. Then they get to college where the pace that we play at is so high that it's almost impossible to play at that pace for 40 minutes, so you need to have other good players on your team. And I think they, after this season, will be like a, a walking billboard to high school kids. Like, if you think that you can go someplace and play 40 minutes at a high level, you really can. So we need to have, you know, everybody today, I thought that everyone that played, which was everyone, um, gave us good minutes, did positive things, and we're going to build on that. No, he's just not feeling well. I haven't talked to him since we left, so I don't know if he's feeling better. Or I'm, I'm hopeful that he is. Um, but, you know, that's all that I know right now. We'll talk to him when we get back. Um, you know, she looks good, and, and the more she has a certain limit to what she can do, and we're building on that to, for her return to play. But that is above my pay grade. I wait for the doctors, the trainers, when they say, and AZ, um, when, when she's ready, we'll know it. And uh, I think she's getting closer, but that's certainly, we can only worry about who we have ready to go, but it would certainly be a big help. Um, when she comes back, another, you know, she's a great shooter and um, give us another perimeter player and she's a good defender. So the sooner she gets back, you know, the, the better it is, but we'll, we'll be patient. Well, I think her approach and the consistency that she's practicing with and playing with, that's a sign of maturity. That's a sign of putting a lot of work in and so you have a, a confidence, but it's also a sign of maturity. So for instance, the other day, um, against Marquette, you only had got five shots, I think. Yeah. But she had, she still played, like she did other things. And so I think that's also a sign of maturity. She just doesn't stop. You know, sometimes when you're a younger player, if you're not scoring, you think that you're not playing well. And, and I think a sign of maturity is that you figure out the other things you have to do to help your team win. And I think that's a big part of what Aliyah has done this year. She has figured out what we need her to do, what she can do, and then does that, you know, like for instance, she's our best offensive rebounder and she's relentless. So that, that I think is a sign of maturity.